Difficult. Interesting. Uh, strongly varied. Hidden. Difficult would be one word to describe it. I think growing up as an LGBT young person anyway can be difficult, especially with stigma and especially in school as well. Other people aren't as understanding or as accepting of LGBT people. Mainly when you're in school, it's the bullies or the people who call you names for whatever reason, just because you're different. And at the end of the day, it shouldn't make a difference. You, you can get like some less tolerant areas, we, 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 I could probably put it, uh, who d don't really understand it uh, due to the way they were raised. Um, and that, that comes from like a lack of education about the whole subject. The gay scene was non-existent on the Wirral. Um, there would be gay nights at certain hotels and clubs and bars, many of which have now gone. There's not enough focus on LGBTQ plus people. There's no um, bars, there's no dedicated spaces. Um, there's a limited number of LGBTQ youth groups on the Wirral. I feel like it's difficult to be open being LGBT here. For example, if you're walking around in Birkenhead holding hands with your same-sex partner, people will say things. I feel like we're missing a place where every person who's who identifies as any of the letters in LGBTQ+, can feel safe. We need consistency for young people, so we need to be able to know that we've got dedicated spaces for young people to feel safe, uh, feel like that they belong and also feel that they've got the ability to explore their identities. I think it takes any of us a lot of energy pretending to be something that you're not, um, when that energy could be best kind of directed and used elsewhere. Personally, I think that LGBT specific groups should be more common or gender groups for like transgender people that might be better so people don't feel as alone for all ages not necessarily just young people. And I think more education towards uh, younger people and older people uh, would be a lot better whether it be in the school or the workplace. I feel like pride events and being able to support your friends or anyone else who may be going through the same thing as you is always a positive. Being able to give back to the community is fun. We need to have more on offer for young people and more signposting and, and education for young people to create that culture of it's okay to be you. Personally, I hope that people are more accepting about lots of different things and that people have open communication about loads of different things, including being LGBT. And I hope that people aren't necessarily afraid to come out or talk to their family about these things because they really shouldn't be. When there's been any group, I think, within society that's been oppressed or hidden, then there needs to be some degree of, I guess, making up for for what's been missing in the past. The council are starting to take more ownership of the fact that we've got such a diverse culture of people on the Wirral, so understanding that everyone's different, everyone's got their own unique identity and, and ways of expressing themselves. So it's having the powers that be understand that everyone is unique. I'd like to see less of a stigma on LGBTQ plus youth where people keep saying that it's probably a phase. I'd like to see less of that because at the end of the day, it's most likely not a phase. I think that a lot more people are LGBT than people might realise as not everybody comes out and most people don't come out until they are older. If you strip away everything, you know, and when we all enter and leave this this earth and um, we're all just skin and bone. If you know someone who is LGBTQ plus or you feel like you might know someone who is like your child or whatever please remember to just have an open mind no matter what.